the front uh, screen that you see of Workspace ONE, and you see you've got multiple devices, a little bit like that demo that Pat just showed. I've got iOS, I've got Android, and of course I've got Windows. Renu, can you please take us through how Workspace ONE really changes the ability of somebody, an IT administrator, to update and manage Windows in their environment? Absolutely. With Windows 10, Microsoft has finally joined the modern management party, and we're really excited about that. Now, the good news about modern management is the frequency of OS updates and how quickly they come out, because you can address all those security issues that are hitting our radar on a daily basis. But the bad news about modern management is the frequency of those updates, because all of us in IT admins, we have to test each and every one of our applications with that latest version, because we don't want to roll out that update in case it causes any problems. With Workspace ONE, we solve that. We simply automate and provide you with the app compatibility information right out of the box, so you can now automate that update process. Let's take a quick look. Let's drill down here further into the Windows devices. What we'll see is that only a small percentage of those devices are on that latest version of operating system. Now, that's not a good thing, because it might have an important security fix. Let's scroll down further and see what the issue is. We find that it's related to app compatibility. In fact, 38% of our devices are blocked from being upgraded, and the issue is app compatibility. Now, we were able to find that not by asking the admins to test each and every one of those, but we combined Windows Analytics data with app intelligence out of the box, and we provided that information right here inside of the console. Let's dig down further and see what those devices and apps look like. So Renu, this is the part that I find most interesting. If I am the system administrator at this point, and I'm looking at Workspace ONE is giving me a key piece of information. It says, if you proceed with this update, it's going to fail 80, 85% of the time. So that's an important piece of information here. But not alone is it telling me that, it is telling me, roughly speaking, why it thinks it's going to fail. We've got a number of apps which are not ready to work with this new version, particularly the Mondecourt Sales Lead Tracker app. So what we need to do is get engineering to tackle the problems with this app and make sure that it's updated. So let's get fixing it. Yep. In order to fix it, what we'll do is create an automation. And we can do this right out of the box. In this automation, we'll open up a JIRA ticket right from within the console to inform the engineers about the problem. Not just that, we can also flag and send a notification to that engineering manager so that it's top of mind and they can get working on this fix right away. Let's go ahead and save that automation. Right here, Ray, you see, there's the automation that we just saved. So what's happening here is essentially this update is now scheduled, meaning we can go out and update all those Windows devices, but Workspace ONE is holding the process of proceeding with that update, waiting for the engineers to update the app which is going to cause the problem. Now that's going to take them some time. Right. So the engineers have been working on this. They have a fix. And let's go back and see what's happened to our devices. So going back into the OS updates, what we'll find is now we've unblocked those devices from being upgraded. The 38% has drastically dropped down. IT can rest in peace that all of their devices are compliant and on that latest version of operating system. And again, Ray, this is just a snapshot of the power of Workspace ONE. To learn more and see more, I invite you all to join our EUC showcase keynote later this evening.